Hi, hello. Uh, today I wanted to give a quick update uh, and a demo on the project I'm working on. Uh, that is the add, add integration for external VX line, tunnel endpoint services uh, feature. And uh, so it's in the CNI release 1.12. Upon a zero release candidate. And uh, so this is uh, like a, a major feature uh, release. And uh, so I'm going to sh show you a quick demo uh, on how it works. So uh, here is um, a diagram. So I have uh, two big IP active standby and uh, so the data pass traffic is uh, um, big IP do the node balancing to uh, the Kubernetes part uh, directly through the VXLAN tunnel. So on each uh, Kubernetes cluster, there is a sailing uh, agent uh, running to update the uh, VXLAN um, tunnel information uh, for the big IP. So when, CD, when the pod send the traffic uh, to the big IP, uh, it will uh, uh, reference the, the ceiling uh, uh, VXLAN uh, map uh, to direct the tunnel traffic. And uh, that is a feature I developed. Um, so for the control plan part, uh, the CIS will set up the static uh, forward database uh, uh, entry for the uh, for the big IP and the, for the sitting uh, Kubernetes node. Okay, so and uh, yeah, so the 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 ARP uh, is uh, uh, automatic up uh, resolution. So no more static ARP uh, management through the CIS. Um, yeah, so basically uh, there is no code required. There is no code change required in CIS. So everything is uh, uh, developed within the sailing uh, uh, project to make this work. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to show you the SSH session. Um, so here um, I have a Kubernetes cluster already set up and uh, I have a, a I have two nodes. Get node. So as you can see, I have uh, uh, two Kubernetes nodes set up and uh, I have pod running. So right now I have, I already deployed the, the F5 Hello World app pod uh, to save time. And, uh, but I have not deployed a, a sailing agent uh, pod. So there is a call DNS and then Kubernetes uh, uh, control plan pod, that's it. So on the big IP, I have uh, these two big IP uh, set up as a uh, active standby pair. And uh, so just the basic uh, uh, setup, just the one, uh, uh, VX VLAN setup. Okay, so no no tunnels, no uh, VX line self IP setup yet, and uh, yeah, so we have a, a two big IP with basic setup, uh, and then two Kubernetes node setup with no CNI agent. Uh, Okay, so 
I'm going to, to save time, I'm going to show you this uh, um, simple uh, setup guide, uh, like uh, how to set up the tunnel uh, on the big IP. And um, so basically, we first we need to set up the uh, final VX uh, uh, profile. And uh, it's pretty much the same as the uh, final setup, except uh, the flooding type, we use multi-point, uh, which is uh, to uh, let Big IP do a ARP broadcast for part uh, uh, IP address, for part of MAC address. And uh, so uh, here uh, in the VX, flat VX line profile, we use the key, the VNI key two, uh, uh, which in the settings world uh, is uh, reserved for uh, word traffic because uh, uh, from the uh, cluster point of view, big IP is an exter external uh, device outside of the uh, cluster. So it's a word of traffic, okay? So, and here is we, we set up the uh, uh, VXLAN self IP on the big IP. Uh, and uh, yeah, so here we need to pay attention uh, because uh, this is this subnet is the Kubernetes cluster pod cider subnet range. So when we set up a self IP subnet on the big IP, uh, we should not use as IP subnet uh, within the ceiling uh, cluster pod cider. So and uh, but we need to set up. Um, Static route. So when Big IP send the traffic to the cluster, uh, Big IP knows uh, to route the traffic through the uh, final VX line interface. Okay. So I already done this to set up on the Big IP to save time. So now we only needed to create the self IP on the Big IP. Okay. So created the big IP on uh, big IP. So on the active big IP, we also set up self IP. Let's change the self IP address. Okay. Now we set up the self IP. We also needed to set up the static route to the cluster. Okay. So we set up the self IP, of nano x line self IP. Nano x line self IP. And then we save system config. So the setup is done on the big IP. Also, I'm going to show you the, so I already deployed the app on the, the config map app uh, on the big IP to save time. So right now I have a virtual server uh, on both big IP with config map. As you see, it's red because uh, I have not uh, uh, start up the ceiling on the cluster. And so you can also see the pool here. Um, uh, the pool with a uh, pool member. Uh, this is the uh, pool member with the pod IP. So it's 127 and 158. Uh, if we go to here, uh, we have um, we have a F five hundred world app a pod with a one twenty seven and a one fifty eight pod IP. So that is um, 
a member, a pool member in the big IP. So I already set up the app first to save time for the demo. Okay, so it's red, the network is not working. And uh, we can we can ping the pod IP from big IP. As, as you can see, it's not working, right? So that's why it's red. And so now we're going to deploy the sailing uh, agent. So this is a sailing agent. Um, uh, YAML file, I'm going to deploy. And as you can see here, uh, this is the VTAP integration feature. And uh, here I enable this uh, VTAP feature. And uh, here is the um, uh, big IP uh, VLAN self IP and uh, big IP VLAN self IP. And the, the VLAN, the uh, VTAP CIDR uh, subnet, I use the, the 10114 and uh, 10115. Okay, so because we, we our self IP here is like under this subnet, right? So that's why we needed to uh, configure the same subnet here for the big IP. And then we also have the VTAP MAC address, which is the final uh, VXLAN uh, MAC address. So let's check here, for example, uh, IPL list. So this is final VXLAN interface on the big IP. And this is a MAC address, uh, a C1, okay? So C1. That's the MAC address, the A6. So let's see how the big IP increased. So uh, Flano VXLAN, the MAC address, 01A6, 01A6, okay? So this is the, the feature we needed to uh, enable for it to work. Okay, so now let's uh, deploy the sailing agent in the in the cluster. And uh, I have uh, this uh, simple bash script to monitor if the ceiling agent is up. So when I'm talking about the ceiling agent, I'm also talking about the uh, ceiling CNI, like for the Kubernetes networking. So ceiling will, the ceiling agent is a daemon uh, runs in each Kubernetes uh, node. So now it looks like uh, the ceiling agent is up in each node. And uh, here is the, um, here is the uh, VTAP uh, map uh, that has the record to show uh, to this subnet. Uh, we use VTAP uh, device with VTAP MAC address, the uh, MAC address uh, 3F C1. And also the, with the big IP uh, VLAN self IP, okay? So uh, the second uh, subnet 115.0 use this VTAP MAC address and uh, uh, VLAN self IP 15 for VXLAN encapsulation. So yeah. And uh, so the same agent is up. We can take a look. Get a part. So this is a, a two scene agent running. 
Um, if we do a king, uh, it is still not gonna work because there is still one set missing here. Uh, we needed to uh, deploy the CIS. So in this scene here, we deployed the sailing agent. But now we also needed to deploy the CIS uh, for the CIS to populate the big IP uh, with, um, with the FDB entry. So once we have the FDB entry uh, for, the, for each Kubernetes node on the big IP, uh, the network should uh, work. Okay. So let's uh, enjoy the CIS for each big IP. Okay. So let's see, do we have a big entry? Not yet. Uh, let's see if the CIS pod is running. Okay, so both CIS pod is running. We should have a FDB now. Okay, so there is a FDB entry for each node, uh, for a Kubernetes node. Okay, so on another big IP, we should have a FTP entry. So now we should be able to pin the pod from the big IP. As you can see, if the pin is working. We can do the same on the another big IP working. And then let's go to the GUI. We should see a we should see green. Okay, it's green. Another big IP. It is, should be green now. Okay, see the pool member uh, with pod IP, uh, it's green. So we can. Uh, um, send up a request to the virtual server IP address, see if it's work, see if it uh, works. Let's uh, send a request to this virtual IP on the big IP. Okay, it is working. F5 HANA world. Okay, so this is active. Uh, this is a standby big IP. So let's uh, run a failover. So now the active big IP becomes standby. The standby big IP becomes active. Now let's do another request. Okay, still working. F5 Hano World app. Yeah, so this is a, again, a quick demo to show uh, how this feature works. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.